Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're in Georgetown County, South Carolina, and we're going to be wrestling alligators. we got a few guests with me. Jake Bill from the Outdoor Dreams Foundation, he's going to harvest his first gator, but right now, I'm going to handle this one. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Carolina Outdoors with Jay Gregg. Joining me now is Patrick Sports. Patrick, pleasure to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you. Tell us what we're going to be doing today. We're here on behalf of the Outdoor Dream Foundation. Uh, Jake Beal is from Labeth, Texas, mm -hmm. and uh, he wanted to get an alligator. The Outdoor Dream Foundation, uh, got, he got drawn as a candidate. Wanted to get a gator, we're going to get a gator. They, uh, they donated a gun, took care of all the expenses. So they flew him here? They, they paid for his airfare, him and his father. Wow. Um, they take care of everything. The Outdoor Dream Foundation is great. And, they, and they've even supplied Jake a gun too, right? They supplied him a gun. They decked him out with his camo, boots, everything he needs to go on this hunting trip. And, we, and we're actually going to hunt a gator. Now, what kind of permits are these? Are these tags or permits? How these this are uh, deprivation tags. We, uh, the, the land we're on is private land in Georgetown County, mm -hmm. South Carolina. And uh, it, we got to take so many off of this property. And we know the fellas here. and. They were all about the outdoor dream because it's such a good thing, and uh, they were all about it, and little Jake got drawn to come. Well, how did you get involved? How many years have you been with them? I've been with the Outdoor Dream Foundation a year, a little over a year. We had a big banquet here in Georgetown. We raised, we grossed $21,000. Wow. And uh, it, it's it's all about 95, 99% of all the money we raise, the sponsors, everything goes back to the kids. They, they pay for everything, airfare, flight, groceries, everything. Well, tell us, how do you, how do you what, is, what is the organization about? How do you get drawn for it? It's for kids with terminal illnesses, um, cancer, heart transplants, leukemia, anything that that's, could cause death, right. or, or a bad situation. Right. And uh, it's, it's great, man. They, kids, that their dream is to kill a gator you know, kill a deer, elk, mule deer, whatever, this foundation pays for them to get their dream hunt. Wow, and you've done this before. Yeah, we had uh, we had two little fellas come out here for a youth duck hunt. Mm -hmm. Got their ducks and they also got to get them a pig while they're here. They killed the first pigs with me and another fellow out here. And it, it just makes me feel great just mm -hmm. to see the, the expression on these kids' face killing their first animals. Their first experience is hunting as their dream, and it, it makes me feel good. Sometimes I get more excited than the kids do. I, I get, I'll get the trembles and the shakes and breathing hard just like they do, because I get just as excited. Well, tell me this: what kind of permit you got to kill all these mosquitoes? This is terrible. <laughs> I have never seen so many mosquitoes in my it's life. Rough. It's rough. Have you rough. ever seen so many mosquitoes? Nope. This is ridiculous. They, they're awful, but they, we can deal with it. We got on bug spray and. <laughs> Hopefully the skeeter truck will come and spray for long. If they don't take my cameraman away. So we're we going to sight the rifle in now? Yeah, we do. You All ready right. to shoot your rifle, Jake? Yes, sir. Let's get it sighted in. It's in the middle of the four, four half circles? Yep. All right. Wait a minute. I'm going to take it off safety. Got it tight to your shoulder? Yeah. Put it in there with the other bullets. We're going to shoot a gator right now. Take a deep breath. Good job. Yeah. Look at there. It's right there. You ready? Let's go get a gator. We had a little problem earlier. He was a little bit scared to shoot the, the bigger rifle. It made a lot of noise. He wasn't scared of the recoil. He was just scared of the noise. So now we got him shooting. He's hitting the target in a good spot. He actually did really well. That'll be all gay alligator right there. Look at that. That's yours. And that was mine and your dad's. Put it right there. Let's go get a gator, boy. Hey, you only got to shoot the gun two more times. That alligator and a deer. Big buck. You to keep Here, Jake. Yes, Jake. Hey, Jay, let's take that home, buddy. We'll hang it in your room. That was your perfect shot at a target. Put that in your pocket. Let's go get a gator. You ready? Yeah. No. Let's get him. Patrick, what are we on? Some old rice? This is old dike around a lot of the old rice fields. And we got a spot here where the gators have been crossing right regular back and forth. And uh, Brad and them tell me there might be one here on the snare. So we just kind of looking for him to have his head up. His head ought to be up out the water. Mm -hmm. And if so, we're going to get in position and let little Jake get him a, get him a gator. All right. Let's come on. He's over that let's way. Let's that. I'm going to kind of get out y'all's way because right. I know how hunting goes. All right, Jake, got to be easy, all right? Slow down. Slow down. Got to walk easy. Got to walk easy. All right, look. Be looking. 
All right, there he is. You see him? Come on, ease on over. That's a good sight. If we zoom out the sight. Side. I already have. Can you see his this head good? for the camera right now. Yeah, but this won't move. Please. What you got to do, buddy? Talk to me. Can't, can't, can't get a bow in the middle of it. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can get it up a little bit. That help you any? Yes, but... Can you see his eyes up there now? Yeah, but it's kind of an angle. Kind of can. Can, can you see his you see his two eyes right there in front I of you? See the bumps above his eyes. See you see, all right. Line see the line that goes straight across behind his head? Yeah. Can you see that in the scope? Yeah. Right in the can you come about this far behind that little line, right in the middle, and pull the trigger? You on him? You on him on the back of his head? I can't. This is the best shot you're gonna get. Are right, you ready? Wait a minute. Let me take it off safety. Are you right behind his head? Right behind his eyes in the middle of his head, right? Yeah, kind of. Right where that tree limb is? Yeah. All right, when you get it there, perfect, shoot. Did I get him? Yeah, you got him. You did something. You got, him. you got him, buddy. You did it, Jake. Good shot, man. Good, Good shot. Good Drilled shot, him. Bubba. Drilled him. You got a you gator. Hey. Nice shot, Jake. Hey, get Patrick's up. Put him right there, dog. Get Patrick's up. That's my boy. Good, Good job, man. Good shot, Bubba. Here, hold your gun. Give me five. Got a big heavy gator. Jake, Jake, get Brad's up, too, for helping. Jake. Let's get him up here. Dude, look how look big this thing is. Look how big this is, Jake. I'm assuming that I'll give him a gator. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, perfect shot. shot. Perfect shot. Come here. Jake, get back, Bubba. Oh, man. Look at the size of that boy. Look how big that thing is, Jake. Man, don't get too close. Hold on, man. Hold hey, on. Come, Jake, come back over sure. here. Isn't it a shake, Perfect shot. Jake, scoot over here. Put it right there. You good? You good? Hey, you all right? Check him out now. Hey, perfect. Get on him, Jake. Come Take here, Jake. Headphones off, bud. Let me have your headphones. Put your hat back on. Put your hat back on. Put him out. David, Bubba, that is awesome. Shot. No. Get right there on his back. Give me five, man. It hurts. Yeah, see how hard his skin is? Hold on, Jake. Hey, can you wave over here or something? How excited are you? I'm really excited. Yeah. Jay, that is, look, hey, look how fat that tail is. That's what we're eating tonight. Oh. Oh, that. I don't know how it tastes. Good. Like chicken. <laughs> My big sister told me um, uh, uh, um, to tell me to tell him if it if it'll taste like chicken. <laughs> well, we proud of you, buddy. You did that good, man. Awesome, son. Good job. We'll get you a big buck tomorrow. See where he got you from about. an alligator. Hey Jay, look, look right here. See where he got fighting with another gator? Mm -hmm. He got him. The alligator bit him a little bit. But what were you excited to come to South Carolina for? What? What were you excited to come get in South Carolina? An alligator. Well, you got him, buddy. That's it, bud. Perfect shot, too. Jay, that is awesome, <laughs> bud. Patrick, now that we got the alligator, Jake, you did a fine job, buddy. What do you do with him? Before we can transport, we got a South Carolina private lands tag. We got to tag the gator. Watch. Come here, right up under the end of the skin, cut a little slit, and we'll put our private lands tag before we can transport. So you can't move him anywhere until you tag him. That's right. And that's not like a regular tag you put in for the lottery, is it? No, it's not. It's, it's private lands. And now that we got him tagged, we can transport him. We're going to eat gator tail tonight, and the Outdoor Dream Foundation that Jake got drawn to come with is going to mount the head, so he'll have a mount forever, mm -hmm. and he'll tan the hide for him, so he'll have uh, memories of it. Man, that's special. It is. Jake, you've done a good job, buddy. Proud nice of you. Nice gator, my man. Good job. Did you have fun? Yep. Are you excited? Yes. Good deal. Let's get him on the truck. You ready? Yeah. All right. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more gator hunting in Georgetown County on Carolina Outdoors. With me now is Brad Jones. Me and Brad go way back from the waterfowl days. Long time. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? I feel like I'm getting kind of old. Well, tell me what we're going to do right now. Well, what we've done is we found crossings. And you notice on these dikes, there's crossings everywhere. And we assist private landowners that are in the alligator program to kind of assess the population of alligators they have, not only to harvest gators, but uh, Mr. Phil Wilkinson started research along with some other guys at DNR many years ago, 20 plus years, I guess. And they came up with a system to mark and locate these alligators. 
and basically research, find out what the growth patterns were, how quick they were growing, coastal areas versus other areas of the state. And we've kind of carried that along with the help of Mr. Phil. We, got, we catch alligators, we'll take them out, we'll measure, we'll sex them, basically record some data on them, mm -hmm. mark that particular gator to the location he's at, and we'll show you when we get the gator up how we do that through the cartilage areas that well, we you, cut. We got one right here. We got a gator on the snare, he came through this, this slide, Will said a walk through snare, he went right through it, we caught him, we'll take the gator out, we'll mark him, we'll sex him, we'll measure him, record all that data, and then hopefully if we recatch this gator anytime in the future, say two, three years, we can look at weights, lengths, see what kind of growth the gator had. So we're gonna turn this one loose. We'll turn him loose. So this is what I wanna say, how in the world are you gonna catch him? It's uh, not as difficult as you think. But well this one isn't as big as on uh, Jake's. I don't look to be. Oh man, you can bring that thing right up here with us, He's ain't coming you? right here with us. Okay. This one here is actually really easy to handle. He's only probably seven foot. Jeez, always man. want to make sure when you grab, they have no strength opening their mouth, but they got quite the power closing. And you want to make sure that you get up under that bottom jaw. There's been cases where the mouth was slightly open. He was accidentally finger put in the mouth and he chomped down and yeah i don't i don't want to accidentally do that you uh, <laughs> know it man. takes quite some force to get the mouth back open but this is pretty so the first thing you want to do when you get them is put that tape around that just, mouth. just wrap it's it around them safety right. first we restrain them no matter how big they are we've done this for 12 footers we've done it with four footers that mouth is the business end yeah, the kidding. tail the tail swings uh, i got a lot of power in the tail and people talk about the tail but the business end is the mouth most times they use that tail to propel their food or prey up to the mouth. How good you want him? That's, that's good. That they don't have they don't have opening power at all. But like I said, safety is always first when when dealing with these gators. And if you notice that bone, he swings that head. Mm -hmm. Even when he's taped, if he swings that head, especially if you get 10, 11 foot range, I mean that would do some serious damage to a. And that's a hard shed. as a brick. Yeah, it would be like a. Yeah, Getting a baseball bat. Show them how to, what he, how he crawled in this snare here. It's a good idea a lot of times to cover your eyes. So this one we can pretty much. You can handle him. We, right? we can handle him pretty good. And even the big ones, you know, we put the big boys on them. They can handle you, them pretty good. Earlier when he sh when uh, Jake shot that alligator, this is a soft part, right? This is a soft part. Oh, that's hard as a brick back here. All the scoots yeah. are very hard. Pretty much he's that's from right. nose to tail, he's played armor except a few vulnerable spots and one of them being right behind. So he made a head. really good shot earlier, he made didn't he? Excellent wow. shot. But, All right, what you got to do next? We'll go ahead and measure him. And let Patrick get in there. And we'll get our guy back there with the pen to record the, the data. You want to tell him the nose? I'm on the tip. Seven foot, eight inches. Seven, eight. So the little alligators are the first animal I like to deer hunt. And most people always overestimate a deer. Yeah. He's a 120 class bug, you say he's 140. But alligators, I found that for the most part, I underestimate because there's so much length in the tail. So you look at one, you know, he's in the water and he's got submerged except for this part right here. Oh, he's a four or five footer. He ends up being seven, eight. He's seven foot, he didn't look, look. Well, I hope you enjoyed our alligator show today. I've learned a lot, fellas. I can't thank you enough for bringing us. And man, that was a nice alligator you got. It really was. You gonna take him home and put him in your bedroom? Yep. That's right. That's exactly right. Folks, for more information on the Outdoor Dreams Foundation, you can go to the website, www.outdoordreams.org. Is that correct? Dot org. Dot org. And look them up online. Until next week, we'll see you in the Carolina outdoors.